Sacramento's son is worried the crematorium returned to someone else's ashes. He called Curtis to investigate. Yeah, guys, his mom died in July. And really, how would you know if you got the correct ashes back? You'll understand his concerns after what he discovered. I hold it and pray every day, every morning when I get up. I pray with it. Missing his mom, Jason McGlade is concerned. He did not get his mom's cremated remains back. The box shows her name, Deborah Ann Schmidt Alford, on the outside, ID number 19950. But inside, Jason found paperwork for somebody else. The thought of it being somebody else, it just horrifies me. You could understand his concern when you hear headlines like these. Cremated remains, they were received are not their mom. Yeah, you received the wrong ashes. So whose remains are these? I just want to know the truth. I just want to know if that is my mother or not. We were curious if the answer is in DNA, but forensic expert Ruth Ballard from Sac State says at 1800 degrees, it's highly likely the DNA is destroyed. I think you're probably dealing then with temperatures that could lead to breaking up the DNA entirely. But we know DNA is used to ID victims of wildfires. Well, usually in those cases, experts can find usable tissue or teeth not destroyed. It's different if, if a body's been cremated because it's been raised to such a high temperature. That's why metal tags like these are so important. They go into the cremation chamber with the body and stay with the remains. Within his mother's ashes, Jason found this tag, the number matching his mom's ID number. The director of Evergreen Funeral apologized, telling us his staffer made a mistake with the paperwork, but says based on the tag, he is 100% certain the ashes belong to Jason's mom. I can't just accept it and be like, oh, okay, this is her. That's not real to me. Well, we reached out to that other family and they do confirm the paperwork was correct, both inside and outside their loved one's container. There is something called a witness cremation. That's where you could actually go the day of the cremation. You ID the body. You could see that tag before they go in the chamber. Although witness cremations do come with extra costs.